This here is the control room for our pal, Carpenterian. Carpenterian? This is the ultimate building machine. Tharged from all of the technology handed down through our fervent generations. Ooh. Besides houses and buildings, it can build lots of natural things too. Even trees and rivers. Looks like we can bring back Jurak's origin point with this. Hey, don't forget to find Holly for us now. How many times can Jurak get fucked up? I mean, in the last game he was freaking withering and dying. And he had to regenerate him by bringing a stream to him, to his little area. Yes, we know. Now he's like dead again. What's that? That's the reactor where you put the geostones. For us, I consider it a toilet, but you can put geostones in there as well. Geostones? Yep. Geostones are mysterious stones invented by the ancients. We also shit them out, us furbits. The Geostones contain all the advanced knowledge of the Ancient Ones. Carpenterian is a revolutionary machine that uses the technology packed inside the Geostones to make new things. Ooh. When you put a Geostone into the reactor, Carpenterian can star the data for building whatever is recorded on the Geostone. So it's kind of like the Atla. That way, you can make new things. Just to warn, even with the necessary data, some buildings can only be built on certain types of land. Ooh, okay. Do you have an explanation? How did it help, man, yeah. I think it's like Monica said. Someone changed the forest here. Uh, do I have to press anything? But if oh. you collect geostones hidden in the forest, you just might be able to change this place back to the way it used to be. Sounds great. We'll do it. Let's go then, Monica. You bet. We're counting on you to find Holly. Yeah, and save the world, yeah. Oh yeah, yes. Finding Holly is okay too. But yeah, world. World. Oh, Max, look. Um Huh? Oh, huh? uh, like huh, I don't see anything. It's a time gate. You can pass between this time and mine through this gate. You just use that stone, you're at Lamilia. What? You mean this red stone? That's right. It's not just a pretty rock, you know. It's got mystical powers that let you pass through time. Mystical! And the one I've got is the blue at Lamilia. They each have their own powers. Great Scott. Red brings you to the future, and blue to the past. With the two of them, we can use this gate to move back and forth between past and future. But it might create a time paradox that may cause the worlds to collide with each other. When we get Jura's oh, well. origin point back, we can use this gate to go see him. Hold in a minute. My father gave me this stone. Why did he have something like this? They say an Atlamilia can pick who it wants to belong to. It must have picked your father. And then it picked you, Max. Uh, no, he gave it to me. There's a difference. What? Me? Anyway, the main thing now is to get Jurak back. I bet Jurak can tell us all kinds of things. About Griffin, about the rainbow butterfly. I guess you would know. Okay. Now we've really got to get to work. We have to get Sindane back into shape and bring back the great elder Jurak. All right. You can use Carpenterian, so why don't you try rebuilding the Sindane? When you change when you change Sindane, it may affect other things in the world as well. You can jump through time a hundred years into the future to check. Any people that you met before to find new events waiting to happen there. Yeah, in other words, those. First things first. Yeah, you can get items in that other world too, so you can beef up your characters. That's a good thing, kinda. Carpenterian. I paint, clean up. And I have a bunch of logs and stuff. Of course, you need a rolling log. What's the analysis? Everything's unknown. Maybe if I go in the time warp. Quickly now, into the time rift! Oh ho ho ho! With magic! Ooh. Oh, 
Oh. Great Scott. Oh. There's actually some people hanging around in the empty forest here. How's it going? You know, lately it's been kind of lonely. Feels like something's missing, you know? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm just going to continue standing here. God, I'm hungry. I feel like there should be a convenience store, like a fucking... Or maybe even a goddamn White Castle. Why isn't there a White Castle here? This is the future, no White Castle? I guess I don't see anything to pick up. It's kind of pointless coming here. It's just a simple empty lot. Oh, wait. There it is. It's so dark in here, I can barely see it. So I guess got something beneficial. I need to dim the lights in my room. It's so dark in here. In this damn game here. Oh, wait, I see something sitting in the center there. It's so dark. Free to beat in, yeah. Free to beat in! So it wasn't completely pointless coming here. Who needs it? I see. Well, Monica has more health. I give Max more health. Oh, and defense by four. Okay. Time more, baby. I know I can skip it, but at least see it once. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh, there it goes. Damn, night time. Is it night time in this world as well? I mean, like, if I, if it's night time here and if I go there at night time, it will be night time. So perfectly, oh, like, a hundred years in the future, even down to the clock. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Move? I guess I'll continue going through butterfly wood. I mean, not really necessary to build anything if I don't really have much data on it. Guess we'll see if good old Utan's better. I guess he is. Across his path. I feel like I should have my weapons equipped when I'm bouncing on that. I don't know why. Explorer cap. I'll gradually change their attire, I guess. <laughs> Started up wearing a hunter cap, apparently. Now I'm wearing an explorer cap. I don't think I remember any better clothes for him. Other than the green overalls. I might go with the explorer cap because it's green. But this seems so bland. Game Weaver. Hey, Utan. You still shitting liquid? Yeah, I guess I did have to walk up to him. Hey, you're back. Clear the path, you slave. Master Utan, you're looking a lot better now. His wristbands look a lot like Monica's Aunt Lamelia, like it has a little gemstone on him. Sure. I just ate something I wasn't supposed to, after all. I'm gonna be more careful from now on. Lesson learned. It's a good thing you didn't die from it. Or you wouldn't have learned anything, you'd be dead. Yeah, that's a good idea. By the way, we want to ask you a favor. Hmm? We want to get through here. Do you think you can move that boulder for us? I got a better idea. Why don't I just throw you over the boulder? Oh, that. Piece of cake. Wait right here. <laughs> I have some good experience with throwing boulders and spitting seeds at innocent characters. Master Utan, you're so strong. How about that? Guess I still got it. Ow! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh boy, I've gone and sprained my back. I think I'll rest here a while. You go on ahead. Maybe you should exercise a little more often. But thanks a lot. You really helped us out. You should exercise a bit more often. Thanks for clearing the path, bitch. Right. We'll see you later. When you're talking to someone, do you wave to him when you say, See you later! Do you wave your like hand above your head? Is that a normal thing to do? Or am I missing something? See you later! 
I die. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm not implying anything. Full loading bar. Right there. At least I didn't have to sit on the loading bar there. Yeah, these ciders you can't use until way later in the game, I 